This is Adel Gasly. I'm going to present to you part 4 of the chapter about magnetic circuits. This part covers the eddy current loss and the total core loss that we find in magnetic circuits. In the previous part 3, we have seen the hysteresis loss in a magnetic core. Another power loss occurs in a magnetic core when the flux density changes rapidly in the core. The cross section of a core through which the flux density B is rapidly changing is shown in this figure. Now consider a path, circular path, in this cross section as shown here. According to Faraday's law, a voltage E will be induced in the path because of the time variation of flux that is enclosed by this path. Since the core medium is usually a conductive material, because it contains steel, a current IE known as eddy current will flow around this circular path. This induced current depends on the rate of variation of the flux and the resistivity of the magnetic core material. Now, because this core material has a resistance, a power loss I square R, call it eddy current loss, will be caused by the eddy current and will appear as a heat in the core. The eddy current loss depends on the amount of eddy current induced in the core and the resistance of the core itself. Now, the eddy current loss can be reduced in two ways. A high resistivity core material may be used, or addition of a few percent of silicon, say 40% to iron, will increase the resistivity significantly. Another way to reduce the eddy current loss is to use a laminated core. The lamination is made in the plane of the flux so that the current path is cut by the insulation layers, which makes it difficult for the eddy current to build and circulate. It's like cutting the bridge so people cannot move across it anymore. In transformers and other electric machines, the parts that are made of magnetic core and carry time-varying flux are normally laminated. The following movie shows how laminated core of a power transformer is made. In best transformers, cold rolled grain oriented electrical steel sheets are used in accordance with DIN 46400 norms. Forming three limbs lower and upper yokes on a plate, magnetic core body is prepared. Both surfaces of metal sheets have carlite insulation. In order to obtain smaller no load losses and no load current, highly permeable silica sheets of suitable quality are processed in CNC controlled machines. Measures are taken to keep the noise level below the specification requirements. The silica sheets cut using advanced technologies are stacked by step lap technique on special stacking tables. That technique of arrangement ensures minimize no load losses and operating current. Special stacking table is erected with a crane and the core is prepared for assembly. Upper yoke is placed after the coils are fit and compressed with yoke plates. With glass fiber reinforcement bands, homogeneous press force is obtained. The eddy current loss in the magnetic core subjected to a time varying flux is equal to Ke multiplied by the square of the maximum flux density multiplied by the square of the frequency of variation of the current, where Ke is a constant whose value depends on the type of material and its lamination thickness. The lamination thickness varies from 
0.5 to 5 millimeters in electrical machines and from 0.01 to 5 millimeter in devices used in electronic circuits operating at higher frequencies. So the hysteresis loss and the AD current loss together form what is called the core loss. Among hysteresis loops, we distinguish two types, the static loop and the dynamic loop. The static loop or hysteresis loop, shown here with a continuous line, it is usually obtained for slow current variation with a small frequency. However, for dynamic loop, called the hystero eddy current loop, shown here with a dashed line, is obtained for fast current variation with large frequency f. These two types of loops will be further explained in the next slide. Now when current changes rapidly, eddy current flows in the core. This eddy current produces an MMF, which tends to change the flux. To maintain a given value of the flux, the coil current must be increased by the amount necessary to overcome the effect of eddy current MMF. Therefore, point A on the static loop will be replaced by point A prime on the dynamic loop that results from rapidly changing coil current. This makes the dynamic loop broader than the static loop. Since the hysteresis loss is proportional to the area of the hysteresis, it is clear that the dynamic loop will exhibit more core loss than the static loop. So the total core loss can be expressed as the product of the volume of the core, the frequency of the current, and the area of the dynamic loop. Using a wattmeter, core loss can easily be measured. However, it is not easy to know how much of the loss is due to hysteresis and how much is due to eddy current. Fortunately, it is not necessary to know the losses separately. In electrical machines that have a magnetic core and a time-varying flux, core loss occurs and the losses appears as heat in the core. This loss will be taken into account while discussing the behavior of electric machines in subsequent chapters. Before I finish this part, I would like to invite you to watch this short movie on YouTube, which gives a good example of such losses that we can find in electrical machines such as the transformer. Energy loss in a transformer. In reality, the assumption that transformers are 100% efficient is not a valid one. Some energy will be lost to the surroundings. In practice, energy is lost from a transformer in the following ways. Resistance of the coil, eddy currents in the core, magnetization and demagnetization of the core, and leakage of field lines. Energy can loss in a transformer due to the resistance of the coils. Heat will produced when currents flow through the resistance. Thus, the heat produced will result in energy loss. Energy loss due to coil resistance can be reduced using thick copper wires. The currents induced in the cores are known as eddy currents, as they flow in little circles in the cores. Eddy currents cause heat to be produced in the cores, resulting in energy loss. Energy loss due to eddy currents can be reduced using a laminated core, which made from thin sheets of soft iron insulated from each other to have high resistance. The high resistance will reduce the flow of eddy currents, and thus reduces the energy loss due to eddy currents in the core. Every time the direction of the magnetizing field is changed some energy is lost due to heating. This is because, work has to be done to change the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field in the core. This energy loss can be reduced by using cores made of soft iron, as soft iron can be easily magnetized and demagnetized. The field lines produced by the primary coil may not fully cut the secondary coil, especially if the core has an air gap or is badly designed, which contributed to the energy loss in a transformer. 
This can be improved by winding the secondary coil, on top of the primary coil. Practical transformers have secondary coils, wound on top of the primary coils, to ensure that all the field lines from the primary coils pass through the secondary coils. Thank you for taking time to watch this. In addition to core loss, which are the hysteresis loss caused by magnetization and demagnetization of the core, and eddy current losses caused by time varying flux, this movie has presented other electrical loss that will be explained further in the chapter of the transformers. This is the end of this part. Thank you for watching.